Avery University's softball team is ready to take the field after an amazing 2017 season where the Cougars won the USA South Conference Tournament title and advanced the NCAA Regionals. With 11 returners, the Cougars believe that experience will help them going into this season. Uh, the experience last year of moving on to the postseason and going, winning the conference tournament and going to the regionals was incredible. I think it's going to help us tremendously this season because we do have 11 returners. Um, we do have experience for postseason and we're able to help like the freshmen come in and we're able to be almost like a mentor saying we've been there. So hopefully when we get there this season, um, we won't all be new. While last season was certainly special and the team gained valuable postseason experience, second year head coach Ashley Pyron has cautioned her team about living in the past. <laughs> I think I remind them uh, that it's a different year every day. Um, I, think, I think it's valuable. Uh, I think when we close the season, season uh, we're definitely hungry for more. Um, and I think at the beginning of the year it was important to, to remember those feelings. Um, but I think we, we closed that chapter. We had a small glimpse of our ring ceremony where it brought it back, and I think it was great for our freshmen to be a part of that. Um, but we, we, don't t we don't talk about it. Uh, a lot of people talk about the defending a title, and we feel like the 2017 conference championship was, was earned and it was won, but we have nothing to defend now. It's, it's up for grabs in 2018. So. Averett lost two key players to graduation, including three-time all and two-time USA South Player of the Year Jessica Long. While there will be some big shoes to fill, the Cougars return a bulk of the team, including USA South Rookie of the Year Caitlin Aheron, who was also the MVP of the conference tournament. Aheron and teammate Taylor Bailey both put up solid numbers in the circle last season as freshmen, and Pyron believes they have both gotten better in the offseason. Add in freshman Danny Kahn as well as senior Amanda Wright, and the Cougars have the pitching depth needed to succeed. The Cougars also return all-conference outfielder Taylor Hodges, who missed the last portion of the season with an injury. Hodges anchors an outfield with starting experience in Essence Pulliam and Mallory Griffiths. In addition to Aheron, Wright and junior Andrea Grant provide power in the Cougars' batting lineup. With Nicole Cawthon, Casey Cook, Brianna Murphy, and Brianna Harris also returning, Pyron believes her team is ready to step up to the challenge and take over where last year's seniors left off. Um, I don't think that you can necessarily replace the two of them, <laughs> but I think uh, what they left behind is something that uh, challenged our girls. Um, just makes them eager to want to wanna be like that and to, to play like that. Uh, the Cougars also added some key newcomers, including Ashley Carbajal and Mackenzie Collins, who will likely start in the middle of the infield. Freshman Shelby Cousy also provides infield depth. You would think that that would be um, a little nerve-wracking to have two freshmen there, but it is exciting to see them every day at practice. Uh, As the Cougars gear up to begin the 2018 season, they have one thing in mind. After getting a taste of winning a championship and going to the NCAA Regional last season, they are certainly hungry for more. Freshman year, we were almost there. We almost had it, and we lost it. So last year, when we finally got it, it's just you want to do it again. You don't want to ever feel that feeling again where you lose out when you're that close. So I definitely feel like it gives you a fire, and it makes you work harder to get back to where you With two NCAA regional appearances in the last three seasons, the Cougars have aspirations to become a perennial national threat. And as the lone senior, Wright would love to go out on top. To win the last game. For me, to win the last game is going to be a successful senior season. Um, at the end of the day, someone has to win, and I want it to be us this year.